Hi, so my friends, I'm Kira Island Socialist on Instagram and my blog is islandsocialist.com. In today's video, I am sharing the best fitting shots I have ever made in the history of my sewing journey. Stay tuned. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. I know my head looks crazy, but I'm actually heading out to shoot right after I record this video. So I don't want to lose out my hair just yet. So you're going to have to put up with me looking like this just for a little bit. Now let's talk pant fitting. Oh, pant fitting could be so dreadful and so frustrating. I know a lot of you can relate. It is something I have struggled with from the very beginning of my sewing journey. Up to now, I have still been struggling with pant fitting because of my proportions. Now there are tons and tons and tons of pants patterns out there that come with a fitting guide i will link some examples below and i do want to try some of those i have the love notion sabrina slims on my list as well as the closet core ginger jeans both of those patterns come with exceptional resources in terms of pant fitting and i do intend to tackle them just a little bit later down in this year but right now we know it's spring and summer and also it is always <laughs> summer here it is really hot and remember i've just been let out to go to the beach not too long ago so i am enjoying my beach days in full force that being said when megan nielsen reached out to me to try their reef pattern i knew i was heading for the shots right away it was terrifying i'm not gonna lie i knew i wanted to try the shots but i was so afraid you guys but what really caught me was the shape of the shots it's a shape i have not tried before and i figured well maybe since it's a new shape you never know i may have some luck with this one so i went ahead and said yes i would love to try the reef pattern for the re-release so the reef pattern is actually a camisole and short set and it just re-released with their extended sizing a few days ago so now you can get the regular range which is 0 to 20 and then the curve range which is 14 to 30. now i had the option of making the set or the top on its own or the shorts on their own i was just really interested in shorts because this is something i have struggled with for so long and i just really wanted to test this new shape now there are actually two short patterns in this bundle but let me quickly run over the camisole first and then we'll get into the shorts so the camisole is a v neck bias cut camisole with crossover straps in the back. Really, really cute. Now this pattern is intended for casual wear or lounge wear, sleep wear. So it is intended to be very comfy and loose fitting. And the recommended fabrics are woven with some drape, so linen, chambray, cotton lawns. I use a poly cotton for my shorts. There is a lower rise short with a straight hem and that one is definitely intended more for sleepwear and loungewear. Those were a little bit on the short side for me personally. I headed straight for view B, which is a pair of high-rise shorts with curved hems. And the, the curved hems are attached with facings and it just looks so cool. Ideal for color blocking. I didn't do any color blocking this time though. But yeah, what really drew me to these shorts was the shape of the hem because it's actually a bit shorter on the sides and a bit longer on the inside. Now, when I make pants or shorts, I usually have to make a knock knee adjustment, even though I don't have knock knees. It's just the way that my thighs are shaped. And what that does is actually extend the inner thigh to be slightly longer than the outer thigh. So technically these shots already have that. So I was so excited to give these a go. Now I had the option to choose between the two size sets and honestly, I was a little bit confused because there are some differences between the two. So in the curve range, the shorts rise is higher as well as the length of the shorts and there's also a little bit more ease now i like my shorts to be a little bit more fitted just because with baggy shorts i have that issue of excess fabric being pulled up into my crotch area because my legs do rub together 
so I prefer a more fitted shot. So I went for the curve range and I actually sized down one. So in the curve range, it put me at size 16. I actually sized down to size 14, which is the smallest size of the curve range. And I went ahead and made a mock-up. I kid you not, that crutch curve was absolutely perfect. The main issue I had was the rise. So it was kind of like, right under my boobs but the crutch curve was spot on i did not have a wedgie but at the same time i didn't have too much fabric floating around so it was mainly length issues that i had it was a little bit too long and the rise was a little bit too high i also didn't use the best fabric for muslin but i used what i had on hand and that kind of tricked me a little bit into thinking that it was really baggy so i actually switched to the smallest i set and tried the 14 from there Oh my goodness, I could not get those things pulled up. I mean, I got them over my butt partially, partially. But then I went back to the curve range because I just wanted to get this right. And I would have had to go up to the 16 in the regular range because there's less ease. And I already know I would have had to mess with the crutch curve. Curve range is made for girls with a little booty and I have a little junk in the trunk. So I went back to the curve range and I made another mock-up. I actually have my other mock-up right here. It is not finished because I don't have enough elastic to put into this one. So this is my next mock-up. It is just a tropical print fabric. And for this one, I shot in the rise by one and a half inches. And then I also took the front rise down an extra half inch. And then I also shortened the inseam by one inch. So now this length actually matches the length of the regular size range. The rise is still not as low though. And these fit like a dream with one exception. So I had actually done a little sway back adjustment. So I took in a little half inch wedge in the back, at the back waist grinning down to nothing. But because I went down a size and because I have a 13 inch difference between my waist and my hips. Getting this waistband to pass my hips was torture. Yeah, I even broke a nail trying this on. So I had to go ahead and take that half inch wedge out for my final version, but this is still very much wearable. And I am trying to lose some weight. So hopefully this will fit me better in a few weeks or a few months. So I still have to put some elastic in this. I still have the hem pin. I have not fully sewn down the face ends yet, but let me give you a close up of this one. So this is my very wearable muslin. Now on to my final. So the fabric I use for my muslin is actually like 100% cotton, quilting weight kind of fabric. For my final, I used a poly cotton, so it's a little bit drapier and a little bit softer. Definitely not as stiff as my muslin, and I chose a really fun fabric. So this is another fabric that came from the tropical print section, but this one is a champagne zebra print with multicolored flowers on it, flowers and leaves. Very, very tropical, and I just fell in love with the zebra. The mix of the zebra and the floral is not something I see too often. So here's this one a little bit close this one is completely finished as you can see there's the elastic in the waistband this time it has inseam pockets that are anchored in the waistband so no flopping around and with this one i made the exact measurements i made on the muslin with the exception of the sway back i ended up having to take out <laughs> put back in rather the half inch wedge and even then, this is still a struggle to go over my hips to get to my waist, but I really don't want any more excess fabric around the waist area. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Once it's on, it's, it's fine, and the waist is actually a little bit slack. Very, very, very comfy and easily, even my husband agreed, easily the best fitting shots I have ever made. Still cannot believe I did not need to adjust that crutch curve. And book it show, I will be copying that crutch curve over to any shots I make in the future. The front is very, very short and very shallow and I usually have excess in the front crutch. Makes a lot of sense now. The back J is quite deep and quite long and then the front is quite shallow and quite short and that works perfectly for me. Like I said, the curve range is made for girls with a little 
booty definitely definitely appreciate that so there is absolutely nothing about these shorts that i would change they just fit like a dream you guys the rise is perfect now i like the amount of room on the leg it is fitted across the hips but there is still a little bit of room in the leg itself and obviously what i love the most is the curved hem i don't know if you could see but it goes up on the side and then it's longer in the front so like i said it's finished with a face in and i have my face in top stitch down and then with the elastic waist that is also top stitch down in the middle to keep the elastic in check which is something again i appreciate because i hate when elastic flips over in the waist of something and because i have to maneuver this so much to get it over my hips i think the elastic would have definitely flipped so yeah another idea you can add grommets or buttonholes and put a string through here i think i'll do that on my next pair and there will definitely be a next pair because i am going to use this pattern to make pajama shots and home shots and beach shots oh i made these to be beach shots i style these over a black one-piece swimsuit ah, perfection absolutely perfect love it cannot complain so so happy i decided to suck it up and try to make these shots i almost said no i was so close to saying no but this is one of those moments when everything just lined it went so well i cannot believe for once in my life shots did not stress me now i can't speak for the regular range because i went with the curve range and this is what worked perfectly for me so i'm gonna go ahead and say if you're a curvy girl and you're looking for some shots try the reef by megan nielsen and remember if you're not into this curved hem you can always make the straight hem as well so you can make this higher rise with the straight hem and then you can just extend it to be a little bit longer since that one is shorter and you can use the pockets from this as well on that one so yeah i absolutely love the megan nielsen reef shots guys when these were finished and i tried these on in the mirror i literally just fell in love like tropical prints and animal prints together me in a nutshell like like this is me in a pants and i love the champagne color too and the good thing about these is that you can wear this with any of the colors that are in here i style it with black but you could also wear it yellow orange green purple pink <laughs> any of the colors that are in here you can style it with the print is so busy i just decided to wear my all black swimsuit but yeah super super fun and comfy pair of shorts really really happy with these these are definitely my favorite shorts i've ever made and my best fitting shorts i have ever made so thank you a gazillion to megan nielsen for reaching out to me to offer up the reef for me to try and promote for the re-release super super happy i bit the bullet and said yes i had so much fun sewing those up and shopping for fabric and i honestly 100 percent truly love the way they turned out this is also my first time trying something from the curve range a1 in my opinion another thing too is that if you have experience with mechanism patterns you would know that they didn't have layers on the older ones but with all of these new patterns and new um re-releases they now include size layers i was able to just print the size 14 and obviously that saved a lot of ink and a lot of cutting time as well the yardage requirements were spot on for the size 14 they said one and a half yards and guys i literally just have a strip of fabric left so yeah i ended up loving this pattern way more than i expected to i think i'm going to make a pair of pajamas next using this pattern with the the full set the top and the bottom because these nights are starting to get really really hot so we're going from some cool nights into some really hot nights i just need cool comfy breezy chill pajamas so that is what i have planned next for this pattern and now i am going to share some close-ups so you can really see the details of the shots as well as my photos from my beach shoot <laughs>
you so much for joining me for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did give me a big thumbs up also click the subscribe button on your way out i will have the link to the reef pattern down in the description box below as well as the link to their um blog post announcing the re-release because there's a lot of good information on there as well that is it for today's video i will catch you guys in my next one bye